Hello, this video is to compare some of the upright pianos we currently have in stock. I'm starting at the stop, top of the price range. This is a fully restored Steinway upright. Now every aspect of this piano has been restored. Uh, you can see we're looking above from the, the strings, the hammers made in Germany. I don't know if you can see on the side of that hammer there that says made in Germany. Probably not at this angle. I'm sorry, I haven't got time to take everything apart today. So I want to get through is quite a few pianos. Uh, but you can see the detail, see new tuning pins, uh, the best quality German strings and hammers. And really you get a, a different sounding piano when you fully restore a Steinway. So we have uh, reconditioned Steinways in stock. Um, a fully restored Steinway tends to sound sort of halfway between an original old sounding Steinway and a modern piano. And of course it has new hammers that need wearing in a bit. But it has a nice, rich, warm sound, as you can hear, that you'd expect from a Steinway, and very, very stable pianos. This piano is made in 1900 and uh, has a replacement key top, so it's not got the original ivories on it. Our next piano is a Grotrian Steinweg, uh, really quality-wise, as good as Steinway. Grotrian uprights are really special pianos. This one has got its original ivories, and they're almost, they are in perfect condition, really. Now we've, repol we've repolished this uh, Grotrian ourselves and uh, uh, finished it off with, with antique waxing to give the best look to the grain. It's a rosewood piano, it's really, really special looking. Um, this has got two music stands here. This is the height of a grand piano, that's what you get on a lot of modern uprights as well. Uh, better is the height of the grand piano in my opinion. And then we've replaced the, the rest plank on this. Uh, obviously we don't fully restore all Grotri and Steinbergs, but in this case, it, I felt the tuning pins were loose and they were big. Someone restrung it before. So we decided to replace the tuning block. This piano is made in 1921. I forgot to mention, I think the Steinway we looked at was made in 1900. But really anything during that period, um, you don't want to think that a, a slightly newer piano is a better piano. On the contrary, really, the, the piano is made between about 1890 and uh, 1925, shall we say, are the very best uh, of German pianos you can get. This is extra dampers, uh, just really fastidiously made piano and we've restored it fastidiously as well. Next we have this Grotrian upright made in 1893 um, and it has 88 keys. It's unusual for Grotrian to have 88 keys, they normally have 85. Um, this is a really special piano. Uh, the front of the piano is worn up, the whole, sorry, the whole piano is worn up as you can see in a very, very beautiful worn up veneer. I look at the inside, you can see this has been fully restored. Uh, uh, one giveaway of the age, by the way, is this wooden bridge, uh, but it's just as stable as the later bridge, just that they, they changed the design and uh, it'll hold its tuning perfectly well. And this one also has a new rest plank. Um, that's why we fully restored this one as well, because as I was mentioning, we don't always fully restored uprights, we can't afford to. And in fact, uh, really, uh, at the price we're selling this at is, is too cheap, really, for the amount of work we've done on it. Now this is more commonly what we do. This is a Grotrian Steinberg that we haven't fully restored. It's come in in extremely good condition, hardly used surprisingly for its age. We had to do a massive pitch raise on it, which is a, a very clear indication that it hadn't been used for, for decades, literally. This has ivory keys, um, just really the most common sort of style of Grotrian, which are very fond in sort of sourcing. And they have 85 keys, so if you want 88 notes, obviously that wouldn't suit you, but uh, uh, I think 99% of our clients are quite happy with 85 keys, really, because you don't use them, you certainly don't need them for studying. Now looking inside this one, you can see it's all original, literally. Um, the hammers are original. We had to do a lot of lubrication, it hadn't been used for a long time. But really everything's in perfect condition and uh, everything's regulated perfectly. We've done some fine regulation. But listen to the break point, it's really, really well matched. They're just so finely designed pianos, these Grotrians. And the tone right down to the bottom bass is really, really uh, fruity sound. And going through the break point here, Again, this is a very mellow sounding piano, by the way, so uh, suits someone who likes uh, perhaps to go to a small room or uh, you just like a mellow sounding piano. The Grotians can also get a lot of volume to them, but it will play so beautifully when you play quietly. Uh, similarly priced, we have this uh, Steinway upright piano, 88 keys, 1909, um, and this is in very, very good condition. So 
We're selecting Steinways that don't need full restoration uh, so we can keep the price down. And by the way, prices are all on our website. So if you go on there, they're, they're, the pianos are all in price order and listed in price order. And you can either list them with just the, the data of the piano or the photographs and you can sort them as well. Now inside this one, it's obvious that we have just reconditioned this piano and uh, we usually clean the bass strings a bit more than that. These ones are more recent ones, but beautifully matched. They're looking slightly shorter than the others, but obviously that's when they were made. They were made with a bit of stretching in mind. Uh, perhaps they were made slightly shorter than they needed to have been, but the tone is not distinguishable from the ones next to it. That's a sign of a great string maker. I'm going through the break point. Such an even tone. That's a sign of a great manufacturer when they can match the tone. With, that string's going to a different part of the soundboard from that one. That's copper. That's uh, just uh, not the copper. That, that's just steel string. So, uh, but to match that is remarkable. They have the extra fly dampers to, to shut off the harmonics there. And uh, so obviously it's a, a piano that's been made at the highest possible standards. Now, uh, just going down, slightly down again in price range, it's Richard Lip. It should be up in the, the top area of price as well. It's just the make is not so well known. But I had Richard Lip pianos in my house for 30 years before I now have clients' pianos in my house. Um, a, a variety of different ones from Blutners to Steinways usually. Um, and I'd certainly have a Lip again. Um, I say we have a problem with because uh, obviously the work on a lip takes just as long it's just as good a piano uh, but it's difficult to sell for an, enough to justify the amount of work we have to do listen to the rich bass uh, so extremely well made piano this is walnut and uh, figured walnut as you can see uh, delightful and look at the angle of those strings uh, this piano is dated, the serial number dates it 1906, but I don't actually believe that. I think it's an older piano, so I don't know what happened there. But uh, we know this piano well. We've actually sold it before, and the, um, the, the owner has, has moved into a place that can't accommodate a piano, so we've got it back in stock. In fact, this, is the, this will be the second time it's back in because we originally sold it 10 years earlier and have done more refinements since then. And lastly, for our German pianos here, we have an Ernst Caps. Uh, always produce superb inlay, I believe. Ernst Caps is one of the most beautiful looking upright pianos. And quality wise, uh, similar to, to the other ones. Again, we can't really justify spending too much on these pianos, though we have actually restrung this one. In fact, we put new hammers and dampers on to Renner hammers and dampers. And again, beautiful tone. All these, all these German pianos we've selected carefully and, and uh, I'd be very, very uh, happy to sell any of them. They're, they're such, such rich, warm sounding pianos and the touch, very delicate on all of them as well. Now, coming down in range, uh, price-wise that is, we have plenty of Yamahas at the moment. We've got U3s and U1s and of course they're the standard sort of mus musician's pianos that are very popular. There's a U1, a U3 that's come in for a container we just got in recently and uh, uh, this particular firm, which we've been dealing with for about 20 years, uh, uh, this isn't something they did before, but they've covered that over, so obviously stop it tarnishing. When you take that off, it shines um, bright brass. And, and the front as well, they've done the, the lock here too. They've also got a large number of Foric um, upright pianos in stock as well, and Foric Grands, by the way, and plenty of other Grands too. Um, and there we're focusing in now on the pedals um, they've covered those over with plastic um, new piano manufacturers tend to do that again stop tarnishing and that needs to come off obviously when it's sold so that's a quick look at some of the pianos we have in stock uh, starting with the the uh, more expensive ones and we're working down and these these are well mars we're really fond of and night pianos and um, we've got other videos on these so uh, please uh, look, look at those this is unusual ripon a uh, very well made Dutch firm, uh, respected, very respected in the trade, uh, and has a superb tone. There's a very faded casework, so if you want a bargain piano, this is probably our best bargain piano in terms of uh, having a value much more than the price tag. And we also do Foric in different colours. This is a cherry coloured Foric, and uh, very beautiful. 
This is unusual. This is a Wellmore upright piano that's been refinished in black polyester and it's immaculate. So that's a brief look at uh, some of the upright pianos we have in stock. Uh, in our main shop, we have a Seiler, uh, which is also a very high quality modern German piano. And we also have a, a taller for it, 133, which uh, I'm very fond of. So um, look forward to seeing you. Uh, hopefully, if you are able to visit us, that's the main thing. Try the touch and the tone on the pianos, which varies. We try and have a, a variety of, of stock so that you can compare. Um, as you know, I'm very fond, if you've watched videos before, of the, um, of the old German pianos, which you can see here. Uh, and uh, also for modern pianos, uh, Yamaha. This is a, a white Yamaha Grand that we sold today, actually. This is a U1D, the oldest of the Yamahas, and they put Yamaha here um, when they weren't known, really, across the world. So what a good way of getting your name known, really. This is, this is a 60s Yamaha. It's actually made in 1965, and... You wouldn't know, looking at the inside, the hammers are hardly used. So many of these pianos come over from Japan. We get a container of second-hand pianos from Japan. And really, if you look at the hammers, uh, look at those that have just been standing in the house and very, very little use. So 1965, and yet uh, plays as superbly as a new piano. And the tone of these older Yamahas is very rich, and the uh, construction of them is more like a German piano that they were copying at the time. So we strayed here into our storage area. We've still got some pianos to display. There's some grand pianos here and Yamahas at the back and a Bechstein Model 10. Let's finish off with that one. I'm particularly fond of Bechstein Model 10s. In, very interesting piano because it's deliberately designed by Bechstein as a straight string. I'll show you why. So this is a reconditioned piano, as you, uh, not one that we fully restored. But the straight string is because you get a much better match here because the strings are going to the same part of the soundboard, and you get longer strings than you do in a sh uh, you, than you do in the equivalent overstrung. This is a Model 10, Model 9, which is an overstrung, has shorter strings at this point. I have another video on that as well. And down here, of course, the bottom bass being straight strung is not tremendously good, uh, but you don't really use so much those bottom few notes, and you're play playing them in the octave. They sound very warm, so. And it's this area here which you play more, so that's more important, really. So that's a very brief look at most of the upright pianos that we have in our workshop showroom area. Thank you very much for watching.